Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 5916 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 28 moves to collect 3 ingredients, 6 popcorn, and 40 of the rainbow twists. Here's the popcorn, and I would imagine those are going to be the most difficult to get to, because we've got to hit each one of them three times, and I have to hit this one so I can get to this one so I can get to this one. Not going to be easy. I've also got these sugar chests, so I need to collect sugar keys. I've got ingredients that could come down from here. I've got, um, yeah, I've got chocolate spawners, which right now are inactive because they don't have any place to put anything. But as soon as I do this, now the chocolate can grow. Although sometimes, as we can see, there's a one or a two turn delay. It looks like once I drop the ingredients off, I can put them here, which is going to be easiest. I could also put them here, but they're likely to get in the way of me trying to pop those popcorn. So if I can scooch them over to the center, I'm going to be better off. And if I can stay ahead of that chocolate a little bit, I'm going to be better off. All right, so here's a key. Now I need to figure out how to use that to open things up because they're that's where I can get some specials. And I also have some stripe opportunities here from some of these dispensers that maybe I can get to. I don't have very good moves. This looks good if I can wait until it's over here. But then the problem is, will I be able to set it off when it's over there? And the answer right now is no. And still no, because it would still work at that point in time. So let's see. Oh, hello. I'm going to do this. Hit that guy. Now these keep coming along on the conveyor belt. So even though I moved it over, it was kind of pointless. Oh, look at this wrapped, wrapped combo. It would definitely take all of this out. It would use these three to strike this and remove these two, but they would be trapped down there. <sighs> I'm holding off. I'm going to do this, actually. I know. I know. It's tricky business, this. Okay, now I'm going to do this. These still can take off and open this up. Now I've got another one. And I think what I'm going to do is wait until orange is here and take out all orange which will then drop this into position, right? I'm going to make a stripe here and try to drop it low. Oops, it fell apart before I hit the chance. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, stink. Thinking I could get a combo there. Gonna hold off. I want this to come into a different area. So now it's over here. Now I don't have to take out the orange because that's gone. But taking out a color will still help. It'll still concentrate the rest of the colors down. So now we've got this stripe I can try to drop down here. Um, or I could try to make a blue come through here. Try to make a color bomb happen. Not happening. Because now anything I do, like if I do this, it takes out the blue so things can drop through here, but it also takes out the green. So I will just drop this into a better position. More specials here. I want to keep this here. I want to hit this. And I want to drop it down and hit these guys. Although at this point in time, it might not matter much. Oh. Okay, so I see all the problems on the board. I can't address all the problems, but I can see all the problems. So, it is the popcorn, as I suspected. That's going to be the most difficult. I could have taken out that ingredient if I had worked really hard on that, but I was focusing on that popcorn. And I do see with the stripes here, we can get that open. It's the middle one that's going to be tough. So those are the ones I'm going to aim for. I'll pause the recording, meet you back here with a new board, and I'm going to try to get that done. Okay. Ooh, I don't like any of my moves. I'm going to make a move over here and try to open up some of this waffle area more quickly. I know I could get to the keys. I'm thinking I'll let the keys kind of collect themselves as I make other moves. Although I'm playing very rapidly, I'm relying on 
kind of more intuition than I am on logic, which is never good in this situation. If I looked for what intuitively I thought needed to go, and then I confirmed with logic, it would be a much better approach. I don't like any of my moves. I'm going to try to take out red because I don't have a lot of red on the board. And maybe green, but now I've got these guys here. And they're just not positioned well to do much for me. But I think I'm going to have to take those. Okay. I'm going to hope I get more red on top of that. No. It still opened up nicely, though. Try to get another red there. So we're going to get a striped wrapped combo, unless I mess things up. And that hits these guys. That's nice. So using that wrapped with a stripe is helpful. Okay, so now we've got something here, potential. Some potential. Let's see if we can get this together. So I have the opportunity to do purple or green. Well, I've got more green set up where I want it, right? I have more purple on the board as a whole, but more green set up where I want it. So, oh, I didn't get to make, oh, color bomb, color bomb combos. I'm still getting that popcorn and that's what I needed to do. Okay, so I want to try to put these together. I know this could go horribly wrong. I've got a couple of green here. Yep, there we go. Got it. Okay, where's that ingredient? Here's the ingredient. It's funny that I have the ingredient left to do. Okay, done. Got it. So definitely the popcorn are the most difficult. Setting up a striped draft combo and hitting those popcorn there, plus then the bottom, opening up the bottom one, is really going to be beneficial. And then any kind of combo that you can get is likely to be helpful. But try to set up the very best one so that you can maximize that opportunity. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.